Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I don't want to be rambling a lot, so I just want to say, if you hear a sentence, Happy New Year or something about Christmas, don't get confused. Uh, I recorded this video before Christmas and I thought that I will be able to post it on Christmas Eve or on New Year Eve and both of them were fails because I was traveling or visiting my family so at the end of the day my organization failed obviously but I thought it would be good idea to post it anyway maybe somebody will find it valuable so here we are today and let me just show you how easy it can be to make an evening gown from sequined fabric it was also first time for me to work with it and if I was able to do it for sure you will be able so just follow my instruction and if you have any questions please put them down in a comment section and I don't want to be annoying but sometimes I have a feeling that I don't say it enough uh, so if you like my channel if you like to watch my videos and until now you didn't subscribe because I know it takes time to make this decision but maybe think about it this time and if you like to watch my videos well maybe subscribe to my channel if this is too much to ask maybe just a like will be enough so enough rambling and let's get straight to the point i'm going to use this sequence fabric so if you want to make your life easy then get yourself something similar because you will not necessarily have to remove the sequence from your seam allowance and if you are wearing glasses maybe it's time to put them on you know just just as a safety precaution, okay? So this is how it looks like. I cut the shell and the lining fabric is here. So I just pin it all the way around so that it's not moving and I cut it as accurately as possible. So now I need to just cut the back piece. Uh, this is the front, I think. And uh, then we can go to the sewing part. By the way, do not use your normal shears, the fabric shears for cutting the sequence fabric because you will just destroy them. So take some other scissors that you don't care about so much. For the lining, of course, you can use your normal shears. So once you will be done with the drafting and you will cut out uh, your pieces, it should look something like this this is the front piece this is the back piece and the only difference between them as you can see is the armhole curve the front one is more curvy uh, but other than that it's all the same as I said in my video where I was making a knit dress for uh, drafting this pattern you only need circumference of your bust uh, circumference of your waistline and circumference of the widest point of your hips and you need to know how long you want to have your dress you can just make it mini dress that's possible as well it's very easy it's not much to explain about drafting this pattern the first thing that i'm going to do is actually to sew the armhole and the neckline and i can go ahead also and sew the bottom of the dress as well but when I will be sewing uh, these two seams I need to add uh, elastic ribbon in it just uh, that it keeps its shape and it doesn't get stretched out when you are wearing it okay while you will be sewing the seam you just place this down you can pin it if you want here and here these two are the most important ones so let's go ahead and do it the same thing for the back piece as well now the bottom of the dress but no need to apply the elastic, okay? Just like this, straight stitch. So 
So now I uh, turn both of the pieces front and back right side out and I went to my ironing board and I ironed the seams but I want to say you really have to set your ironing on the lowest setting possible and before you put your iron on the fabric you have to put something in, in between cotton possibly put it on the top of the sequence and then you can iron it okay because you will melt it otherwise so be careful but it is possible so as you can see this is really nice and neat this one is already pressed and this is the second one which was not pressed yet and you can clearly see the difference this is nice and flat really nice and clean edges and this one is just like standing weirdly and curling so go ahead iron it but just the way I told you okay be careful and maybe try it on piece of fabric before you go and put your dress under the iron okay so I have my pieces here on the floor the back and front with the lining already sewn and as a second thing uh, I'm sorry I'm showing you this on the floor but uh, I think it's easier for you to see like that so I'm going to sew the shoulder seam now and I will show you in a second how to do it. Now you will just push one of them little bit inside like so. Then you will take the second one and you will push it inside like this. Then you can go from the side which is not sewn yet. You remember we were not sewing side seams at all. You will turn it out. You will make sure that your seams are matching perfectly because more precise you are, the better it will look at the end. And uh, I have a feeling this will be a little bit annoying, at least for me, but whatever. And now you have to sew around. Now you can see that the both pieces are joined with a shoulder seam and uh, basically now I have to just close the side seams. I hope it will all work out well. I will take the front one and lay it on the top like so and then pin it all the way just like you remember from my video where I made the vest. Gilet. I was using the same technique to close the side seams so I will do the same thing over here I will pin the sequence fabric with the sequence fabric then the lining with the lining and when you will be sewing it around you will see that you make some kind of like a loop and so you do exactly the same thing on the other side but you have to leave a space opening so you will be able to turn it right side out but do it on the lining part so that nothing will be visible from the outside. side seam is sewn. Uh, I have to say the sequence fabric is not the one that is making me the most trouble and is the most annoying to sew. It is actually the lining uh, because it's very thin and flimsy and stretchy as well. Okay, let's do the second side seam. By the way guys, uh, little warning, maybe too late, <laughs> but still. You are going to have a sequence everywhere so if you can do it in a room that doesn't have a carpet I think would be much easier after for you I mean just a little suggestion huh Sometimes everything just gets Sometimes everything just gets guys last few centimeters and it's over <laughs> so let's do it so this is the little gap that will help me to turn everything right side out. So this will be a big moment right now. So let me put my hand through this. I hope I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> if not, it's late. Big moment guys. Yes, 
Tada! Look at it. Look at this beautiful dress. Oh my god, it's amazing. So, I will go to my ironing board, make everything smooth, perfect. I guess after that, you are going to see me in a dress. I hope you are excited because I cannot wait. This is the dress. Uh, first of all, I apologize that this time it's not any pretty scenes and sunset and stuff like that, but uh, outside is minus one degrees and uh, I just think that it wouldn't be possible for me to survive this. So here we are today uh, just in my sewing room but hopefully you will be able to see this dress. It's very simple design but I think that sequin fabric is asking for it, you know, I mean it's a lot so I don't know if you have watched my videos about uh, all the dresses that I designed in 2021. I have been talking about this dress uh, at the end. If you haven't watched it you can go ahead and uh, watch it there. So this is how it looks like from the back. I'm sure it will not be my last try to sew a sequin fabric. Definitely I will try in future different designs. It's quite comfortable because uh, I did a lining under. Without the lining I think that would be a different story, okay? <laughs> so that's it for me today guys i hope that you liked it uh, if you have any questions as i said just put them in the comments don't forget to like this video if you like it and if you can subscribe to my channel i will be even happier and i guess see you next week and i cannot wait see you guys bye